Um, I really praise God for your life, Dr. Nike. And I truly believe that you are an army of God. And I feel so blessed to be here. Thank you. Yes, I'm a Mujahid. Mujahid means soldier of God. I consider myself a soldier of God. And thank you because I say I'm a Mujahid. I'm a Dai and a servant of God. Jazakallah. Sister, do you have any questions? Yes. Um, according to Jeremiah 29 11, uh, for God knows the plan He has prepared for each and every one of us. Plans to prosper us and not to harm us. Plans to give us hope and a future. Uh, that's why uh, some of women, we believe that they have a gift of celibacy. We're in, uh, you know, that nuns and some women, they're very happy unmarried. That's because they have a gift of celibacy. Now, Islam believe on that, and if not, what is the best motivational verse that you can give, which is based in Quran, for those women who is second, third, or fourth wife? Sister has a question, quoting Jeremiah, she said that the future is with God, and some women are blessed to be celibacy, that means they should not marry, and what do we have to say, and what does the Quran say about that? Sister, in Islam, there is no monasticism in Islam. You cannot renounce the world. Our beloved Prophet said that anyone who does not marry is not of me. According to me, it is compulsory to marry in Islam. The Prophet said anyone who does not marry is not of me. To marry is compulsory. Regarding those women who are blessed, you know, you are referring to the nuns, correct sister? Yes. Nuns, yes. Now if you see the statistics, if you see the statistics, of the priest, those who have given up the world, the fathers and the nuns. In England, the statistics say that more than 60%, more than 60% of the priest and the nuns, they involved in adultery. More than 60% even involved in homosexuality. So what is this celibacy you're talking about? Medically, it's not possible. Medically, it's not possible for a woman or a man to remain virgin throughout the life without indulging in illicit sex. It's not possible. Because sex hormones are being liberated, sister. It may look to the world that she is following celibacy. It's not possible. It's not possible. Because sex hormones are being liberated, sister. So therefore, if you see the statistics, that is the reason the Protestants, what they say, a priest can marry. It is the Catholics who say, that the nuns and the fathers cannot marry. But the pastors in Protestantism, they can marry. If you are a Catholic, they say that you should not marry. But in the Bible, nowhere does it say that you should not marry. Jesus Christ never said that you should lead a life of celibacy. That is the reason in Islam, marrying is compulsory. And the Prophet said, a person who does not marry is not of me. Hope that answers the question, sister. Yeah, thank you. And uh, one more. Uh, do you believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ? Sister, that was the question that do I believe in the second coming of Jesus Christ? Yes, I believe. It's mentioned in the Bible, he'll come again. It's mentioned in the Quran also, he'll come again. But what is the reason that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will come again? The reason is because, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 158, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised up Isa alayhi salam alive. Jesus Christ alive. The reason is he was the only messenger whose followers as a whole mistook that he claimed divinity. All the other messengers, none of their followers as a whole misunderstood that the messenger was God. Because there was a misunderstanding in the followers, Almighty God raised him up alive. It's further mentioned in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 116. Jesus Christ, peace be upon rest to Almighty God. On that day, I will come in the second coming. And I will bear witness. I never told them to worship me. But I said, Oh, Budullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord. He will come in the second coming to testify to the Christian. He never told them that worship me. He never said that he was almighty God. So he'll come in the second coming to testify to the Christian that this is a big mistake. Same thing is mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of John. On that day when people will come, Oh Lord, Oh Master, did we not do wonders and miracles in your name? So Jesus Christ will say, Amen, you depart from here. I don't even know you. So Jesus Christ will say, I don't know these people. You did miracles in my name, I don't even know you. So he 
never claimed he was God. Any second coming, he will clarify this misconception. That's the reason God kept him alive in the second coming, so that no one can say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you. And one last question. Um, Makkah is the same as the Holy of Holies in the Bible? Makkah? Yes. Yes. There is mention of Makkah in the Bible. If you read in the book of Psalms, chapter number 84, verse number 4 to 7, it says that blessed are those people who travel to the valley of Bakka. Now, Bakka is another name for Mecca, which is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 96. The first place for worship was Bakka. So, Bakka is another name for Mecca, which is also mentioned in the Bible that blessed are those people who travel to the valley of Bakka. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you very much. The sister. Salam alaikum. My name is Haya, and I just have one question for you tonight. Islam is a religion of peace and freedom of thought and freedom of speech. So why?